Hello everybody and welcome. This article from the Real News Network is called The Small D, A Democrat's Dilemma. The Trump presidency has been a disaster for the country and the world. How's that starting out for you? I do not agree with this article, just so we know that, okay? But the Trump presidency has been a disaster for the country and the world. A second Trump term would be calamitous, which means much worse than a disaster. The menace must be stopped. Okay, yeah, so Trump has got to be stopped. Yeah. Uh, the sad fact, though, that for Trump to lose in 2020, a big D Democrat would have to win. Yeah, big D. They can jump on the big D, but they don't have a big D. You have to have balls to have a big D, okay? This means that the responsible thing for small D Democrats to do would be not just to vote for big D Democrats uh, on Election Day, but also to muster enthusiastic support for him or her in the weeks and months leading up to it. That means nobody's supporting each other. You know, like, let's give them all a yay, thumbs up. No, they're like, get him out of here. Enthusiasm is necessary, but turnout is all. Yes. There are many more registered Democrats than Republicans. Is that true? I didn't know that. And there is no reason to think that most independents whether or not they lean Democratic, oppose Trump. Okay, so most independents oppose Trump. All right. <laughs> That's just what this dude's saying. I think he's full of shit. I mean, you tell some truths about the Democrats. The reason Democrats lose as much as they do is that Republicans and conservative independents have been voting at higher rates. Yeah, we go out and vote because we want to make sure no damn Democrats get in there. That's why we vote at higher rates. Everybody goes out and votes. That's why Trump got elected, because everybody went out to make sure the Democrats didn't win. And look what happened. Democrats lost. Sorry. Not sorry. Okay. Uh, Democratic Party has seldom offered them anything worth voting for. Uh-huh. Ain't got shit. <laughs> All they want to do is just fight and try to get everybody kicked out of everywhere. You know, don't bring nothing to the table. Just try to get everybody away from it. Yeah, get them out of here. Uh, there had always been plenty to vote against, right there. But as of 2015, this time around, that may, may not be enough. There is therefore reason to think that for the time being, Democrats ought to make common cause with Democrats. That means they ought to get along. Ultimately, the task is to divide, not unite. Yeah, they're all fighting against each other. That wretched, thoroughly compromised party of theirs to retain and build upon what is salvageable in it. And to cast off the rest. There ain't nothing salvageable in that thing. That would require a thorough house cleaning. Yeah, that means get everybody out. But the time for that is not now. Well, Trump and his minions are on the loose. Trump and his minions are on the loose. Yeah, he's just running wild. Uh, somebody call animal control. He's on the loose. This goes against the grain for Democrats, and also uh, there is a difference for genuine socialist proponents of the deprivation of ownership of the principal means of production. The actual existing Democratic Party is useless. That's what he said, and I couldn't agree more. More often than not, it is an obstacle in democracies, much less socialism's way. You don't want socialism, okay? You can't vacation at, at a place that's socialized, okay? Try to go to Venezuela. You can't drink pina coladas there, but you can get robbed, you know? So, yeah, don't even think about socialism, man. It's a bad idea. Uh, it is as much of a party of Wall Street and corporate America as its Republican rival. We're still the Cold War mongers, uh, mongers who have come to control it under the aegis of the Clintons and their co-thinkers make Trump, Trump look almost like a dove. So Trump looks like an angel. Uh, yeah, because of the Clintons. Yeah, compared to the Clintons, he does. But yeah, it's, it's freaking heaven and hell is what you're talking about. Too bad, therefore, that in real world of politics, political parties are indispensable for turning ideas into political realities. That means they, sometimes they just can't do it. 
Sometimes their brains don't work, you know, good enough to turn an idea into reality because they can't come up with a good idea. Yeah, just a piece of styrofoam up there, man. Ain't no brain involved at all. Small D Democrats can get nowhere without them. <laughs> I just got done saying that. Uh, it is bound to be messier because the party stalwarts and the gazillionaires behind them will not give up their power without a wrenching and protracted struggle. That's true. Uh, witness, to the, witness the full court press coming down from our vaunted agenda-setting quality press. New York Times, Washington Post uh, have all declared Joe Biden, corporate America's great white hope, the Democratic nominee. Good. I'm glad that's all they got. Yeah, thank you. Biden is the most retrograde of all the unreconstructed Clintonites and Obama files. What? <laughs> it sounds like a damn crime, doesn't it? Uh, left standing after 2018. He is also nearly as much of a joke as Trump. Well, no, he is the joke. Trump is the one saving our asses. Uh, Trump, a hardcore doofus who almost never gets anything right. Uh, wrong. Okay. This guy just said, it looks like he hates everybody, but he's right about the Democratic Party. I got to give him two thumbs up there. But he's, he's, he's got it bass accurate about the, the Republicans. Even for those whose only concern is to send Trump packing, Democratic Party. Yeah, that's all they want to do. Impeach, impeach, you know. Uh... This is stupidity on stilts, unless, of course, it has suddenly become sensible and wise to make the same mistake over and over again. Hillary Clinton was the Democrats' mistake. In 2016, Biden is in every relevant way the same, only worse. Mm -hmm. That's why Trump got elected, because of Hillary. Because nobody wanted her. Because she was dangerous. She was a criminal. She committed some crimes. And they're still looking into those crimes right now. Yeah. She's not, you know, immune to jail time. We might just eventually end up seeing her getting booked. Even for those who's only... Okay, read that. Uh, how much better it would be, therefore, to make a clean break... But that is out of the question, thanks to the semi-established, deeply entrenched, duopolistic party system that we live under. Taking over and transforming the Democratic Party is therefore the best, perhaps only way to get the job done. So, what they're saying here is the Democrats are just in disarray, and they can't do anything, they can't think up shit to do, they never get it right. The, the Republicans are doing a better job. And uh, they're just fighting with each other. He thinks that they need to be, you know, it needs to be just freaking tore down and rebuilt from scratch. And uh, with Biden being the captain of the ship, as soon as it starts sinking, he'd be the first one to jump off. This, the Biden craze, therefore, must be defeated quickly and decisively. decisively. Corporate media must not prevail. Meanwhile, Trump and his inner circle are busy making the world safe for the vileness they exude. So that means, you know, they're, they're making the world uh, something that suits them and their needs. As long as that's going on, Democrats have no better option than to make common cause with the neoliberals and the liberal imperialists who made Trump possible if Biden is the nominee. So that means they want to make friends with the, some of the Republicans. Is that right? Can't beat them, join them kind of thing. Yeah, if your side sucks, jump to the other team. Okay? If Democrats have any sense at all, though, they will at least try to accommodate the positive changes that have already taken place within the ambit of their party. This is doable. The situation is still at a point where they can benefit from the energy insurgents are bringing, they are bringing into their fold without seceding power to them, without ceding power to them. Something like a popular front of Democrats and Democrats is possible. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. Wise Democrats should be able to appreciate how their interest in forming a popular front is at least as great as the insurgents. I, I don't think they'll ever see that. After all, the old guard 
as the Donald tells us, low energy. Biden is no remedy for that. Yes, he's low energy. Yeah, I've frankly fallen asleep. That's what I call him sleep the joke. And, and, and neither are moderates or centrists who think like him. They're not where the energy is. Well, how can you have energy when you fall asleep? It is with the insurgents, especially at the state and local levels, and is with the cohort of generally progressive Democrats now in Congress, there are perhaps as many as several dozen of them and many others who probably could be moved along with circumstances that are right. Doubt it. It will be different when Democrats become strong enough utterly to transform the party whose name they share. Mm -hmm. That time is still far off. Mm -hmm. However, for now, the good guys and gals, which is what many of them are, of who? The Democrats? You can't be talking. You can't be talking about them. Are most a force to be reckoned with. <laughs> yeah. Well, the Democrats, yeah, what a bunch of superheroes. <laughs> Look out. For now, too. Even as Democrats join Democrats in the fight against Trump, the objective of the two are not only different, but also ultimately at odds. Yeah. Backed by donors with deep pockets and the corporate media, the Democrats hold over the Democratic Party remains nearly, a, uh, remains nearly as formidable since the midterm election as it, had, as it has before. So the Democrats are a formidable party, doubt. No. They're just a bunch of dumbasses. Yeah, the Democrats are a formidable party. Uh-huh. Yeah, look at everything they tried to do to Trump. Flocked. Yeah, what a formidable freaking force. Okay. And therefore, the uh, it, it is therefore quite a dilemma that Democrats face. They cannot move forward or even get by without making common cause with enemies of all they stand for. But of all the feasible options before them, this is the least unsatisfactory. Trump makes it easy to get in a frame of mind that helps Democrats adjust to this ultimately unattainable situation. Uh, every word he utters or tweets and everything he does underscores the urgency of making his defeat a higher priority. It's a priority to defeat Trump. I think it's a priority to keep him in there. Making his defeat a higher priority than the transformation of the lesser evil party. Which one's that? Who's the lesser evil party? The Democrats? They're lesser evil? <sighs> On the other hand, mainstream Democrats make it harder than need be for Democrats to, co uh, to cooperate with them when they promote positions even more nasty than Trump's. That was the persistent problem. When Democrats were still hoping that G-Man Mueller's report would somehow force Trump out of office. Yeah, that thing was a bogus-ass bunch of trumped-up charges crap. Yeah, you can't expect a lie to have success and do the dirty deed that you want it to when everybody out there is freaking taking it apart, you know, going through it with a fine-tooth comb. Yeah, and finding everything that's wrong with it and going out and investigating and finding that none of it's true and finding out where it came from. Yeah, and find out it was a bunch of made-up bullshit. They put all their cards, all their eggs in that basket and looks like they need another chicken because that basket's gone, son. Their hopes were unfounded. The content of Mueller's report could have had that effect. But Attorney General Bill Barr, Trump stooge, He's actually the guy who actually found all this corruption. So, succeeded, as they say, in controlling the narrative. Yeah, he found out the bullshit that was going on and exposed it. Yeah. Ironically, this turned attention away from the worst of the Democrats' uh, mechanizations. So, the Democrats were trying to pull this bunch of horse shit, and now they're thinking that Bill Barr, you know, Oh, he, he pulled the wool over everybody's eyes. No, he exposed the truth is what he did, that that was a lie. So uh, this guy's name who wrote this article, his name is Andrew Levine, and uh, he's with the Real News Network. I thought I'd share that with you. Pretty interesting little uh, story he's got there, don't you think? And uh, that's enough for today. I do appreciate my viewers and subscribers. 
Take care.